Alright, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. Hey everybody, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show, Fixing a Random Crap with Craig. Today we are looking at this Yard Machines by MTD Snowblower, 8 horsepower, 26 inch. And um, it's got an issue with surging um, when idling. So when it's actually like chugging through snow, it seems to be settle down and be fine. But when it's idling, it's... So I'm going to try to uh, demonstrate for you what is happening. I've made sure... Like I purged all the old gas out of it. I made sure I got nice fresh gas in her. So we have her a little... Uh, give her a little this. Give her a little choke. Give her a few of those. And uh, try them the... Uh... That's a bit of a demonstration. So that's a uh, bit of a demonstration. It's surging hard enough to like move the wheels back and forth. Um, so we're gonna try today to uh, fix that up, watch a few videos. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, take this plate off here to be able to get at uh, the carb. The first thing we're going to try is this one screw that uh, apparently can be cleaned out and uh, might be our issue. So we'll take you along for the ride. Here we go. So these screws here are uh, a couple of Phillips. A couple of Phillips screws. Those are easy. Uh, this one back here is an 8 mil. Uh, save you having to figure that out. And then there's another one here. That's another 8 mil, and I'm going to get these keys out of here, because that's just going to be a pain. So, uh, apparently also these buttons just kind of come off. This choke button here. There, yeah, there she goes. That's that one. So I'm trying not to lose anything. I'm going to keep everything in my trusty, trusty project bucket here. And, uh, yeah, we'll take this off. Here we go. Okay, so just a quick little update here. This screw... This uh, one is actually not one that you want to remove because it holds down the, uh, the what appears to be the ground. And sometimes uh, you might have to take that off. Turns out mine was not even connected a little bit. Uh, but it, it connects down there underneath the... Uh, kind of right on that guy. That's where that should be. Mine wasn't connected, so we'll make sure we fix that up this time. But now, now we get that off, so we're going to start to uh, track down what we want to do next. Okay, I'll take that out and we'll start again. Okay, so we've got her off here now. Um, we've got our carburetor, like that's the, well, this is all the carb, I guess. Not an absolute expert on this for sure, but uh, that's part of the carb. Um, you got your throttle here. That moves things. Uh, that piece gets her going. Anyway, um, the part that uh, we learned about is this screw, right? Here, you can see that one. Now, sometimes you might have a cap on top of this screw that you need to kind of pop off with a flathead screwdriver. I do not. Um, but basically, we're just going to try and wheel this right out of here because there's a couple holes in the bottom of this screw. It's hard to do with one hand, so I'm probably going to stop the camera. But we're going to clean this screw right up with some carb cleaner and use like a drill bit to uh, to get through it. So it's coming out there pretty easy now. I'm going to put the camera down so I can not lose it. Okay, so this is the uh, the screw here. You can see there's two holes in the sides, and then there's a hole in the top. So if you can get a drill bit small enough that'll fit in there, that's pretty good to go in and clean her out. I saw in a few videos. Um, but otherwise, I say, hey, use a wire brush to be able to get, uh, like, put it through the hole and kind of gouge around in there, get any gunk out. And then uh, what we're going to do next, so I'm just going to put it in this pop cap here, and we're going to spray it with this uh, carb cleaner uh, and let her soak for a little while. Let's see what happens then. Okay, so uh, positive news here. 
Uh, as I said, I was going to use the pop cap, and I just filled that up. Uh, I put the screw in there. The screw's not in there now. It's back in the snowblower. Um, <clears throat> but I put it in the cap, and I, I sprayed enough of this uh, stuff here and there to, to submerge it fully after I had gouged her out. Just kind of ran some of those wires through the holes, and uh, I put the screw back in. You can see it there. There she be. Right there. And uh, one trick was to... Uh, use some needle nose pliers to get uh, get it kind of in there and then come behind it with the screwdriver so it wouldn't drop on the ground. You want to try and keep it clean, right? The whole point of soaking in that stuff. And, uh, you know, I just tried it out and I think she's fixed. So we'll uh, give you a little demo here. Let it soak for maybe about 10 minutes. Put it back in. Oh, hold on now. Make a lot of me. Uh, that's a huge difference uh, in how it was running before and uh, I don't know maybe two minutes of work to get that cap off take the screw out pop it in the carb cleaner let it sit there uh, run it through the, the wire brush I did that before at first I ran the brushes through then I put it in the cleaner and uh, it sounds like she's brand new so if that hadn't worked then uh, my understanding is you'd be getting into uh, dealing with a carb uh, cleanup so getting all of these uh, getting that bowl off and there's an O-ring in there um, that can be replaced. You can buy these carb kits to kind of replace the ring and and clean it all up I, with the with the carb cleaner again. Put it back together. That was going to be my next step, but it uh, looks like I'm done. So uh, bonus, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Take her easy.